Morning everyone, I said from all your cars. Today we've got this Audi TT Mark 1. It's going to be a bit of a different walk around to usual. I'm going to do more of an appraisal style video on this. Um, this vehicle has done 49,000 miles. It's a 3.2 V6 manual with 49,000 miles. This car could potentially be a future classic. So yeah, we'll show you panel by panel, the condition, under the bonnet, in the boot, etc. Start at the front corner, offside front corner. Wing wing. Offside front wheel. Tires have all got five or six mil tread. Moving on to the driver's door. Doing the door, you can also see the sill into the quarter panel and the offside rear wheel. A, B, and C pillar along with roof rails and roof. And offside mirror. Rear bumper. And tailgate. There is a mark there. Near side quarter panel. Near side wheel, again going down the near side, you can see the door, sill, etc. Into the wing, and then the front bumper. Show you the near side front wheel with the original ceramic coated calipers still, not been painted or anything like that. And then the near side rear, ABC panel or pillar, sorry, including the roof rail, and again the roof of light scratches up there tiny chip in the screen there nothing else on the windscreen and then finally the bonnet sorry if this is a bit of a boring video but we find with these Mark 1 TTs they're usually being tucked away into a collection, so people like to see what they're buying. I'll show you under the bonnet. All clean and original. No signs of any leaks or anything like that. All the clips are present, and these are very common. For going missing on Mark 1 TTs, they're all there. Your screws, your fuse box cover, again, very common for going missing. And the last one up there. VIN plate cover has deteriorated over the years, very common. If you've looked at Mark 1 TTs, you will know they all do that. Strut tops are split, which again, totally normal, but it is purely cosmetic. If you are looking for a concourse example, you may want to replace them. But yeah, very, 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 very good. Inside, I've got the black Napa leather. Just show you the driver's door card to begin with. All very good, no real damage. 
put some scratching to the door handle. Seats are very, very, very nice and clean. Again, somewhere to the driver's bolster. It's not a concourse example, but it is very good. Steering wheel, really nice. Climate control panel, immaculate. Same with the stereo, none of the buttons are worn. These are very common for peeling. And these are perfect and all your switches are nice and all working. Passenger seat, again, perfect. Glove box, all clean and tidy. Could be hold at the back there, all the buttons are working. Gear stick, good condition. Some light scratching to the surface, nothing serious. And again, all in the center, really good. Back seats, we've got the Isofix. And again, they're really good. And just start the vehicle. Um, you'll see that all the pixels and the dash pod works perfectly. Oh, I've got the boot open in preparation to show you in there. I forgot about that. And then due service, which will be carried out before it leaves us. As you can see, no warning lights. Everything illuminates and goes out, and all the pixels are perfect. I'll just switch the radio on so you can see the top section. And as you can hear, the radio works perfectly as well. All the pixels on the stereo are good. Nice, healthy sounding V6. I'll just show you in the boot. I'll switch it off. Quieter. All really clean. All lovely, as you can see. We've got the parcel shelf. All the fixings are intact, which again, if you know you're looking at one, you know that they're very common for braking. You've got your original handbooks with all your radio stuff in there. And then also um, an approved used Audi handbook from when it was sold by Audi last. Uh, all your toolkit stuff is under there. It's all present and correct. No spare wheel, obviously, as it's a V6. Folding seats work. Lastly, we'll just show you in the door shuts because the door shuts are quite common for rusting. These very often rub the paint out just here, but as you can see, this one's perfect. A little scratch there where the seatbelt buckle has been trapped at some point. Again, no rust. Oh, this door card, this door handle, sorry. Is better than the driver's side, but still got some light marks on it. Again, we're not selling a concourse car. We're just selling a very, very, very nice example. Driver's door shut. Again, paint here is perfect. If you do look at another one, check there. Very common for rubbing through and going rusty. A tiny chip there. bottom of the door. Again, no rust. And if I can, I'll just try and show you the underside a little bit, the best I can on the floor. Very clean and tidy. As you can see, obviously there is some surface corrosion to components, but overall excellent. There you go. Give me a call if you need to know anything else.